Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun Tech Reviewer. Back with another video. Yes, I have the iPhone XX Max. I'm going to show y'all the initial setup and then also give you my first impressions on the iPhone XX Max. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so you decided to pick up the iPhone XX Max. I'm going to go through the initial setup on the phone, then give you my first impressions on the iPhone XX Max. And let's get this video started. So it's talking to me, it's telling me hello. I'm going to swipe up. You can pick your, in I mean your language. Yes, I'm in the US. Bam, it tells you if you have an iPhone, iPad uh, running iOS 11. I'm going to set it up manually. Let me put in my codes. All right, so I was able to put in my code. It says data and privacy. I'm going to just hit continue. All right, so face ID. iPhone can recognize unique three-dimensional features. Let's try to do this. It's going to try to pick up my... My lights on my camera I'm using. Man, that was actually pretty quick. Alright, so it says create a passcode. Alright, so it says apps and data. Restore from the iCloud backup. Restore from your iTunes or set up a new. I'm going to set up as new. So it says sign in with your Apple ID. Okay, so you get this screen next. Once you put your Apple information in... Hit agree. It says this might take a minute. It says express settings. You can use these settings below or customize them individually. I'm going to just hit continue. Keep your iPhone up to date. So it's checking for updates now. I'm going to set up Apple Pay later. I'm going to do that later, too. Let's set up Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri, how's the weather today? Hey, Siri, it's me. So, Siri's ready. Screen time. Get a weekly report of insights about your screen time and set time limits. I don't want to share that with Apple. I won't share that either. Bam. Display zoom. Choose how you would like to view your iPhone. Zoom shows larger text and controls. I'm going to do standard or zoom. Let's see. I like standard. So now it tells you how to use iOS 12 and 11. Swipe up. Switch between recent apps. Swipe uh, top right edge to open the control panel. Welcome to the iPhone. Swipe up to get started. Now, this is iOS uh, 12. Bam. Okay, everyone, so I decided to pause the video. I want to give you my first impressions. So I've been using the iPhone XS Mac for a couple hours now. And first thing I want to mention is how quick the phone is. It definitely has no hiccups. Yes, I know people, it's only been two hours, three hours at the most. But this thing is fast. A12 Bionic chip. Yes, it's definitely super fast. iOS 12, yes, you have to get used to the gestures. Yes, you have to get used to not be able to customize your home screen. You know, I can't put my clock on there, but it's okay. You get used to it. it. does have some time at the top. I'm still going through some of the settings. Stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to have more videos on, on the settings, what you can do, and everything else. Let's check out the camera app. Bam, there you go. The camera's really good. I want y'all to check out these photos I did. It's a couple photos. Y'all let me know what y'all think about them.
All right, y'all. So what y'all thought about those photos? Again, I just went outside, took some pictures. Y'all let me know what y'all think about them. I think the camera's going to be really good. Stay tuned to the channel. I will do a comparison with my Galaxy Note 9. But also, I'm going to do a video test slash camera test like I normally do. Just so y'all can get a better idea on how the cameras is. And if you want to pick up the phone, at least you have some knowledge to do so. Do your homework. Because 1100 bucks for this phone is a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. Also, somebody DM me on Twitter asking about Face ID. And it's quicker than what it was. Yes, you still have to swipe up to get it unlocked, but it's definitely quicker. It's secure. It's a great way of unlocking your phone, and it seems quicker than the iPhone 10 was. Now, in the dual speakers, bam, you had that speaker on this side. That's the speaker. That's the microphone. Then the dual speaker and the earpiece. They sound really good. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put it against my LG G7 and maybe the iPhone 10 from last year. Let's see which one has the better speakers. Let's see if they actually improved on that, which I think they did because it sounded really good when I was doing some testing earlier. Now, to wrap this video up, yes, I've been having a phone for about three hours. Yes, it's a very impressive phone. I mean, look look at it. It's a beauty. Not going to lie. Shout out. The color looks great right now. Some lights, it does show like a pink tint to it hey i'm not a i don't like pink phones but this one in this light right now looks pretty gold but yeah it definitely has pink ios is something to get used to especially when you're coming from android but it has this thing i mean it, it works really well i'm not gonna lie at all it's been working really good it's really fast so stay tuned to the channel i'm gonna have more videos coming on it I'm going to give you like 72 hours with the phone, some speaker tests, maybe a gaming review. I do have some cases coming, screen protectors, so stay tuned. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more videos coming up with the iPhone XS Max. Until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.